in order to to be a complete clinician is yeah knowledge and skills in these areas to diagnose um, and treat the structural problem we have to have a background in all of these and a diagnostic paradigm that helps us to differentiate you know what are the possible diagnoses and what am i going to do with it once i understand which tissue is possibly uh, most probably causing as uh, re responsible for generating the pain of course, we're going to mobilize in order to prove local physiology, dry needling, and other procedures that we can do to affect local physiology. But that doesn't stop. As I mentioned, we have to continue now with a functional diagnosis and, and, and treatment. Now, to get there, we have to understand uh, biomechanics, kinesiology, kinetics, clinical reasoning process around movement strategies, and and some diagnostic paradigm. And Senmacor is... is uh, is our favorite for a lot of reasons and the skills that we're going to need are observation skills instruction teaching skills in order to enhance the patient's understanding and learning uh, because we really are in many ways teaching patient skills a conscious process that we hope will transfer towards unconscious application in normal day in normal life and our biopsychosocial it's different but not that different the trouble or the challenge is that we're we're moving from them from the somatic or the musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal anatomy and physiology towards now more the brain and the extended brain of the nervous system throughout the entire body. Having some basic understanding of this is, is really important. Um, psychological theories give us some framework around which to explain some phenomena that we experience with patients. And it gives us a construct from which we can kind of approach how to engage people and, and why this person might be motivated and why another person may not be as motivated. Um, why we are more motivated with some patients than others. In other words, it gives us some something to hold on to and pull us through the ether that I think psychology oftentimes can be. But you're also going to appreciate the fact that there's some hard science back here. Hard science meaning uh, empirical science that, that helps us feel a little bit more comfortable in this neuroscience of the social brain, neurobiology. Um, we will refer in a more thorough or long-term course the theory of mind and mirror neuron systems to how that specifically plays and serves to help us connect with patients. Um, but ultimately we'll get down to interpersonal neurobiology, the degree to which we can help and, and uh, create a process of interpersonal emotional regulation. And in red, you'll see a diagnostic paradigm. We really don't have one. Our, that is for our, our colleagues in the um, mental health professions who will use a diagnostic and statistics manual in order to come up with the, you know, the DSM-based uh, diagnosis. But our skills are gonna be in the, in the space of empathy, communication to create successful relationships.